Last week, I was talking about riding the air miner's wave. So figuring out how to get into the water, get uncomfortable, splash around. And one person that responded was telling me about a project that she's been working on for a long time. She feels uncomfortable about it, but it's, it's kind of getting ready to launch. And she said that that, uh, that note about riding the wave was at the perfect, perfect time. So that was really cool to hear. Uh, and it got me thinking a bit about kind of one of the things that I struggle with, with playing in the water, riding the wave and all that. And that's worrying that what I'm thinking about or what I'm doing is too small. And what's wild is I feel like I've seen this in my own work. I feel like I've seen it in, uh, I've, I've heard it from other people. That they're worried about not having a big impact. Um, I've heard it from other people asking me about my work. Hey, what if that's not having a big impact? Should I be doing it? Uh, and I've even felt it about other people's projects, right? Like, hmm, that's, they're not, that's not big enough to make a difference. So that voice is, I think, it's challenging. It's challenging at times. So this week, I got to meet Bill McDonough. And Bill is a legend. He is the author of Cradle to Cradle. Uh, a lot of people uh, really have, have had their entire careers shaped around and inspired by his work. So I got the chance to talk with him this week. And that was what I asked him. I said, how do you deal with thinking that something you're doing is, is too small or somebody else saying it's too small? And he said, beauty is in, he said, there's a beauty in small things. And so we talked about that for a while. And just this idea that small, beautiful things add up to big, beautiful things. So if you look at something big, it's actually made of many, many, many small pieces. And so really, if you're building something, it doesn't matter whether it's small or even if it's big. If it's small, it means if you do more of it, then you'll build something that's big. This week, I was speaking at the Carbon Removal Newsroom. Uh, I'll have a link down below, but we're doing a podcast about the Stripe uh, Carbon Removal Purchase. So Stripe, if you're not familiar, uh, is, a, is a payments tech platform in Silicon Valley, uh, and they put up a million dollars, and they said, we want to purchase carbon removal credits from a bunch of companies. And so over the last eight months, uh, they've researched and talked with startup companies that are working on pulling carbon from uh, from the air. And they decided to split up the million dollars across four different companies. So one thing that I heard from people was, well, Stripe is a multi-billion dollar company. A million dollars seems like such a small amount. Um, of course, at a personal level, a million dollars is, is big. But at a, you know, at a corporate level, well, that seems kind of small. But the beauty of this start of this small bet means that Stripe was very open about it. They published all their, their protocols and their procedures for choosing the company online. They open sourced all the applications so you can go read them. And by making this, this small bet, they paved the way for this incredible growth in the space. So if, if you're another company that comes along and says, hey, we want to do that too, or we want to do something bigger, you have this great foundation that's the team at Stripe has put together to, to build that and make that better. Um, so for me, that was a, a, a great example of start uh, starting small with something that's really uh, well done, uh, really high quality, really thoughtful, paves the way for more things to come together and more things to happen. So. Actually, we're having a, uh, an Air Miners event. If you're interested in learning more about the Stripe uh, project, we're having an Air Miners event this coming Wednesday at noon Pacific Standard Time. I've got a link down below. It's conference.airminers.org to sign up. And we're going to be having a bunch of the panelists are the startup companies that Stripe purchased carbon dioxide from. So that'll be cool. I'm going to be moderating the discussion. Uh, we've got Climeworks, Carbon Cure, and Project Vesta confirmed. Uh, we'll see if we can get somebody from Charm Industrial and Stripe in the meantime. So check that out. Um, but yeah, I, I love talking with Bill. I love thinking about this question of what's the, uh, what's the beauty of, of small things? So is there something that you're struggling with? I'd love to hear about it. If there's something you're thinking, oh man, this is, this is too small to make a difference and I have to come up with something different. I have seen so many people 
get come up with that question and I've seen people uh, figure out how to get around it or figure out how to work with it. I've also seen people get stuck where they're just they're just stuck saying this is too small and then they really nothing ends up happening. They just get stuck there and they stop or they continue to think about well how does this how does this one thing solve all of climate change? And it's just it's a, it can be a real place that, that we all get stuck. And I think there's a real acknowledgement to that, that the, the beauty of small things. It also reminds me of a great article by uh, Matt Lucas uh, called, I think it was the, the Gigaton Silver Bullet uh, or something. And he has a great, uh, a great argument and, and description of, look, we, one person or one company or one group uh, isn't going to solve this whole thing. So that's okay. If you're working on a piece of it, if you've managed to make something beautiful, that it's a solution or a partial solution to any piece of it, that is a small piece that will be created and recreated to become part of the bigger solution. So I look forward to hearing about the, uh, the challenges you're having with uh, small things uh, versus big things. And I look forward to seeing you at the Airliners Conference event coming up on Wednesday and check out the Carbon Rule Newsroom about the Stripe Carbon Rule purchase.